This is part four of the video training series, Reprogram Your Weight. As you know, I'm Erica Flint. In this part, we're going to talk about how to avoid the biggest weight loss mistake people make. So what is the biggest weight loss mistake people make? It's thinking that everything has to be perfect in order for you to lose weight. It's that black and white thinking, the all or nothing type of a thing, and it's the thinking that you have to eat perfectly in order to lose weight, all right? Um, you know, or thinking that you have to work out for 30 minutes or an hour every single day like you used to the last time you worked, the last time you lost weight in order to lose the weight. Um, and I, you know, I've had so many clients report to me that they gave up, they threw in the towel, because one, you know, one day of overeating, they're like, all right, well, you know, I'm off the diet since that, and then they just stop, um, or they don't feel like doing their hour-long workout. So instead of doing it an hour, they do zero. They do nothing. Um, and so, you know, how many times have you given up? How many times have you thrown in the towel because it was just too hard, or it just, you know, it wasn't feasible for you to be able to do that much work every single day, or you ate too much one day, and then that was just it. So you quit, um, and so you stop the program. I'm going to tell you a secret for any program, any at all the work, it must be sustainable. It must be something that you can and want to do every single day. When it, you, you know, the things that make up our life are the things that we do every single day. And this is why a lot of programs fail because you can stick with it for a while, but once you stop following the program, you gain the weight back. And during the program itself, you're often feeling deprived because you're trying to starve yourself um, or you're working out too much or too long. And it's just, it's not sustainable. Um, so none of that is true. You don't have to eat perfectly. You don't have to work out for hours in the day. So a better approach is what I want you guys to understand. I call it incremental success. All right. Um, it's getting better, a little bit better each and every day. Now in part one of this training, we talked about a principle of the mind whatever we focus on grows. So here's a little mind trick that I want you guys to start using right away. Start focusing only on the things that you're doing right. Just only notice the things that you're doing right. If you make a mistake, just pretend, you know, as far as eating goes, just pretend like it doesn't happen. Just see what happens. See what happens if you're focusing on what you're doing right. And over time, what's gonna happen is that the things that you're doing right are gonna grow right? Whatever we focus on grows. You're going to start noticing that you're doing more and more and more and more um, of the things that are done correctly. So I've helped, let me tell you a, just a quick story. I helped somebody who was eating five candy bars a day. Um, there was like a couple in the afternoon and then the three at night or something like that. And, and this person, all right, went from five candy bars a day to two and they still lost weight they still lost a significant amount of weight when they went down to two. Now over time, they, they ended up going down to zero and then every once in a while. Um, but going from five to zero would have been too hard for that person and they probably just wouldn't have stuck with it in the first week, okay? They would have been overwhelmed and they would have stopped. And so an important part of this program is to feel really good about all of the good changes that we're making, making that progress, focusing on that progress. All right. So there's something very um, important that I want you guys to understand. When we're overwhelmed, we often do nothing. And so this is when we feel overwhelmed by, oh my gosh, you know, how am I supposed to, to eat or cook, cook this weird diet or how am I supposed to work out this much? Um, then, then we often don't do it at all, right? Um, so when you plan to work out for 30 minutes or an hour at the gym and you come home from work and you're too tired, and sometimes you just don't do it at all. So you do nothing. And then you've just lost an opportunity to maybe at least just get in 10 minutes. Um, that's the same thing with trying to eat perfectly. Uh, it's really not feasible. I, I don't try to help my clients eat perfectly. I don't think it's likely to eat perfectly. And when we try to focus on eating perfectly, we're often gonna be disappointed. Um, so I'm helping them find that balance between what's really healthy for them, good, enjoyable food, so that they can lose weight every single day, every single week, without depriving themselves than without the struggle. Um, you know, not everybody has time to spend so much time cooking or chopping food every day. And that, of course, depends on your situation. A better approach is to start really small, like something that you can do. It should be something that you can do every single day. And you know, these things, like I said before, these things that we do every day are what make up our life. So lasting change comes from your ability to do something every day. And for me, I want it to be enjoyable for you. I want you to find a way for it to be enjoyable. So for, as an example, a lot of my clients don't actually go to the gym. Some do. Some like going to the gym. A lot of them don't. 
you don't have to go to the gym to lose weight. You can walk, you can do other things at home, you can garden, you can clean. There's a lot of different ways to do this, you guys. It needs to be something enjoyable that you can look forward to and actually follow through on every single day. Um, so, you know, here's another way. I wanna, I wanna give you guys another way to think about hypnosis. So, you know, um, the sun, the big yellow ball in our solar system that's like heating the planet and, and keeping us all alive. Um, uh, you know, I love the sun, I think it's great. The way that you can think about hypnosis is as a magnifying glass. So if you take a magnifying glass out into the sun, it can start a fire. And so you take hypnosis and we point hypnosis at you and what's going on inside. It works as a catalyst to help you get the success you want very quickly, very powerfully. So even things that you've done in the past that weren't working anymore, they start working all of a sudden. So um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed, you know, what I've shared with you this far. I'm very excited for you because I know that you can do this. All of these changes, everything that needs to happen for you to lose the weight, it's already inside of you. And I've helped hundreds of people lose weight on this program using what's already inside of them. We come up with a custom solution that's just for them. We get rid of the things that aren't working for them. We amplify the things that are. We program how they're thinking, feeling, so that they are eating mindfully, changing those bad habits into good, healthy habits, using the body's own wisdom to help control your weight with your natural appetite. So the solution is going to be unique to you. And figuring out that unique solution is easy with hypnosis. It's easy with reprogramming your weight. I've helped hundreds of people do that. Um, and it's a combination of a couple different things. So the, solu the unique solution for you is going to be getting rid of the things that are holding you back, getting rid of that emotional baggage, okay? Amplifying what you already know well, making those things more powerful, adding new thinking and ideas that have worked with hundreds of clients, all sorts of different ways to help you eat mindfully and um, just uh, get motivated for things in your life. And then we add to that habit transformation, the ability for you to change and install new healthy habits easily and effectively, including understanding and applying a default response, which we talked about in part three, training in part three, and adding to that incremental success. So the daily success, getting a little bit better every day. Guess what happens when you're noticing all the great things that you're doing every day? You feel good. You feel good about yourself. You see that you're making progress. And when you feel good and you see that you're making progress, then it's easy to stick with the program. You have something to look forward to every day. So all of those things feed back into you, the unique solution that's going to work for you. And it's all inside of you. So I'm really excited because it doesn't include a crazy, you know, food plan or having to go to the gym. It's just everything inside of you amplified with hypnosis and everything that you already know. Okay. So um, I'd love to help you find um, the solution that's just for you and lose all the weight that you want to lose. And, you know, so I want to share with you, there's something that I ask all my clients when we're done working together. And I'll say, all right, is it easier than you thought? And they say, yes. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doing it right. They say it seems easy, but then I step on the scale and I continue to lose weight. You know, it's, it, losing weight does not have to be hard. That's definitely one of the misconceptions about weight loss. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm not working hard enough. I must not be losing weight. That's not true. When you're doing it right, it should not be that hard. You can lose weight without depriving yourself. And then I'll ask them, do you think you could do this for the rest of your life? And they say, yeah, it's easy. And they've already integrated it into their lives. So they can do it every single day. And so I think that's really important. If it's easy and they've already integrated it and they can do it for the rest of their life, that's when something can become permanent. All right, so I have one more story to tell you. And it's about a client who lost all the weight she wanted to. For her, it was around 60 pounds. So I'm going to call her Lori. And, you know, I've told you guys this before, but the stories I tell you are, they're about real clients, but the de I've changed, of course, the details to protect the privacy of my clients. All right, so she came to see me because she was really feeling out of control. She was sad. She was upset. Her relationship with her husband was not what it used to be, and she was mad about something that had happened with a relative. So just, you know, just not feeling very well. And the first session, she had remarkable insight about herself. The neat thing about this was that she was surprised on the one hand because she was never able to figure out why she felt that way. But on the other hand, it made complete sense to her. It was kind of like the light coming on type of a thing, uh, an aha moment or a light bulb type of a thing, right? Um, with that insight, the first session shifted her thinking and it changed how she felt about herself. It changed how she felt about food. And so she started eating healthier. She started having a healthier relationship with food right away. So she wasn't using food to kind of help her, help her feel better all the time. Um, she started losing that weight right away. And then in that last session, 
I noticed that she, she really seemed like a different person. She was happy. She was smiling. She was more carefree. And she told me, this is really cool. She told me, you know what, Eric, I feel like myself again. I feel like the me, you know, like 20 years ago before all of this, this stuff happened. And you know what, that's that her is still inside there, right? Um, that, that her that she was wanting to get in touch with was still always there. And, and so it kind of returned her back to that self, um, to that self that she remembered. So in our time together, which was about six weeks, she lost about 20 pounds, but she ended up losing, you know, the other 40 over time, losing all the weight that she wanted to lose. She incorporated that incremental success. Every time I saw her, she was getting a little bit better, a little bit better using that default response. And so for every day for her, she was excited and she was enjoying her life from day one of the program because when she left the office that very first day, she felt lighter and better. So even before she had lost all her weight, she was already feeling better. And that's huge because it wasn't, it was like the opposite of a struggle. She felt peaceful from day one and then it became easy for her. Her day wasn't frustrating or stressful or upsetting anymore. There were moments of that, but in general, she felt better. She wasn't thinking about food as much. She was feeling more peaceful inside. And so that contributed to her overall weight loss nearly every single day until she lost all the weight she wanted to lose. All right. So thank you, everybody. I want to thank you for joining me here today for Reprogram Your Weight. If you are ready to reprogram your weight,